What is up to you people who's been watching this video through their mobile device or any form of screen? So my right hand and my left hand are back in action for another product review. But this product review will be a bit special because at the end of the video, I'll be doing a giveaway. So yeah, just a, just a form of say thank you to you guys for, for watching my vids, for giving me support. And specifically a thank you to the DigiDestined Facebook group Malaysia for actually helping me to get these these v, this, these uh, uh, Digimon V pets or Digimon Minis for me to review and for me to actually relive my childhood. Yay! So without further ado, let's just focus on the product in front of you. So yeah, uh, as the title implied, I will be re I'm reviewing uh, Digimon Cross Raw Mini. Uh, much like it's, there, these things are much like Digimon Mini, but different gameplay you can still you can still raise your Digimon to be stronger however um, I dare to say based from uh, other user reviews these these uh, versions of the VPAT or Digimon Mini are much more casual and easy to handle I'll, I'll explain a bit detailed uh, further after a few brief introduction now um, number one um, it took me quite some time to get these because I'm I I have, I have no intention to ship it all the way from Japan because it's gonna be very really expensive. So I got this for thirty nine ninety ninety cent um, in Aeon Big just just go Aeon, but they don't have these anymore because they have like limited stocks uh, and they're only like left with two versions: the Blue Flare version and the Twilight version. So I got them both, and another confession I have to make. I got too excited after I, I bought these and I straightly opened them up and began playing so yay very mature of me <laughs> but seriously though I mean these things are like really really vintage and classic because back then in the 90s these were the bomb for us Asian kids of course I don't know how you guys in the west actually react to these kinds of things Meh. so uh, also thanks again uh, to the Digestion Facebook group Malaysia for following me on my story on how I got these products and and for, for you guys for giving me support to travel all to, to travel the distance to get these things. So thanks guys, which is why I'm gonna do this giveaway just to say thanks to all of you. So yeah. Um let's just move on to the uh how say in terms of display. Uh, in terms of packaging, for for all of you Digimon lovers that own the Cyber Pets, they, they own the electronic toys, the Cyber Toys, they they still retain its classic front cover Digimon, uh, front cover Digimon feature. Like the one, like the Blue Flare version, you'll get Greymon as your as your cover Digimon, and the Twilight version, you get Skull Nightmon as your cover Digimon. So really, oops, sorry, camera fell down. There you go. So yeah, really live up to, really live up to. To how, what we grew and grew and love, and also in terms of packaging, okay. Now, if you guys remember for the European version of the uh, virtual pets or uh, Asia or Bandai Asia version, I can't remember. Okay, the European version comes in a blister pack where you actually have to destroy the packaging to get your product out. But for this one, it retained, it uh, kept a simple design like the Digimon Mini, as in it comes in a slide in and slide out feature. So for those collectors out there, it's really worth your time to, to spend money and to and to how to say preserve these products because the packaging is still how to say salvageable. You don't you don't actually need to throw it away. I'm gonna keep mine and I'm gonna hey, let's say I, I have no intention of playing it anymore, I'm gonna keep mine in the packaging just to just to make it look like mint. So really cool over there. Okay, now this the cardboard flipped in here. It's not actually useless because okay, aside from giving product information, distributor info, and so forth, it actually it's like it is actually a foldable cardboard flap. So inside this foldable cardboard flap comes up with how do you say operations manual? Uh, two two different operations manual basically. One is how to turn the thing on and off or how to reset the thing, and the other one is much more detailed product information on how to run the device, how to raise your Digimon, how to battle and so forth. If you guys are interested to to know what I mean what kind of things uh, this instruction booklet offers, leave me a comment in the comment section below. I will upload it in my personal Facebook group and share you guys what's in that uh, what what kind of what kind of description it has in those 
in those booklets. Um, same thing goes for the toilet version of the of the device. And as always, every single electronic toys, or specifically in this term, Digimon, will have this plastic plastic tab where it's usually inserted in the back in the battery slot compartment. Well, pre-battery slot compartment to block out the bat uh, from the batteries to activate the device. And I'm just stating up the obvious where every single electronic device would have. Now let's just focus on the product in hand. I'm gonna review. Dang it! So yeah, I'm gonna review both products uh, separately because I okay. Even though gameplay-wise they're the same, but in terms of creature roster, it's very much different. So we'll go. We'll start off with the uh, blue flare version. Now I want you to guys focus on the decals given. Okay. Even though it seems like that uh, the, the casing itself looks like some of those really cheap plastic, but these are really hard. So I I doubt if you fall, if you fall out from your hands to the floor, it will it will not break off or damage that easily. And the casing is really really smooth. It has that candy like candy like uh, look to it. So I don't know for you for you for you parents who have kids at uh, below the age of three or five, uh, how to say. Avoid them from putting it into their mouths because if I were a kid, this thing really looks like candy to me, so I would put it in my mouth. <laughs> uh, button wise, they're, they're like really small. Okay, check out, check out my thumb here, it's as big as my thumb. So, those who have big fingers might have problem operating the device, and as so, those who have with smaller fingers, I think, I think girl fingers would, would work nicely because um, biologically, girls have smaller fingers. Except some Just in case I were to get flamed in the comment section. So okay now aside from the uh, Casing oh, yeah, it has these prongs for you to battle. Okay now Here's a slight difference if you guys have been following if you guys have been following the, uh, the Digimon electronical toys from the 90s until the early 2000s you get uh, you get two prongs basically basically two two pins. Let me take my knock off here. Okay if you grew up in the 90s, you 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 will be rec you will only recognize with these prongs. However, for the new editions, you'll get three prongs. So I don't know why the manufacturer decides to make the these new ones with three prongs. It'll be much more convenient if, you, if there are two prongs so that at least we can, we can connect it with the older device. So that's why I bought two, so it'll be easy for me to do battle and for me to show to you guys how these two battle. So yeah, I think that focus that covers up the physical aspect now let's focus on the gaming aspect let's see if my camera can actually capture the lcd screen here uh let me adjust it a bit and should be nice okay now if you if you guys can see pr uh, uh, properly beyond the lcd uh, uh picture of uh, greymon yeah that's greymon by the way it actually shows the emblem of blue flare so for you guys who actually watch the anime digimon cross wars or if you guys are in America, or if you guys watch it in Disney XD, they don't call it Cross Wars. They call it Fusion War. Because why? Because America, that's why. I mean, just retain it as Cross Wars, it sounds it much more cooler, but no, they had to turn it to Fusion Wars. I mean what, you fuse and then you wage war against your opponents? Ah well, enough ranting, let's just focus for the, on the device on hand here. So. Yeah, um, you, you have the background of uh, the blue flare emblem. If you have the cross heart edition, the red one, it has will have the cross heart emblem at the back. Now, in terms of sprites, okay, once you start up the game, you know what? Since I'm only I'm only on it anyway, so let's just I'm gonna I'm gonna reset my entire game just for you guys, just to give you guys a brief detail how how, how what what kind of things you get in this in the starting game. So sorry, Greymon. Okay. So usually after you pull off the plastic tab here, okay, you'll be prompted with this with the Bandai logo. Uh, it, oh yeah, it has three buttons: A, B, and C. A meaning to choose, B meaning to select, C meaning to cancel. Um, I'll show you guys the button features later. So you click any but any button and you and you set the timing. So I think I think it's still the AM. Let me just okay adjust it here. Let me check. Let me check the clock here. It's 11.22 a.m. so you you adjust here you, okay the fun part about this device either you can press to change the but to change the time to change your options one by one or press it long enough 
it'll go it'll go ballistic until you stop so 11 i'll just put 1123 just to make it much more convenient that way uh 9 20 21 22 23 and you will be greeted with a fully grown Digimon that you can actually straightly battle but obviously you have to feed it up first so um okay so you have you uh like other v pets you you'll be greeted with an egg so you have to wait for a few minutes until until the egg hatches and then you'll get a really needy baby Digimon and then after an hour it'll it digivolve off into a into a in training level and then after a few days or hours you'll get a, into a rookie level now uh, for this Digimon Mini, you don't actually okay like previous models. You have you have you have actually have option selections to feed it to see its stats and so forth. But for this Digimon Mini up to Cross Four Minis, those options are up. Those options are not available. However, they replaced it with by pressing the A button once, you'll get the food option. One will be your Digi Noir. Well, basically they replace meat Digi Noir. It's like it's like I don't know crackers for Digimons. For them to eat, it will fill up their hunger, so you can feed it until they don't want to eat anymore. Next one, you have your classic pill, where you act okay by feeding them pills, they actually replenish your Digimon strength. So yeah, yay! Greymon's happy chomping the pill. Um, 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 steroids. Mm. <laughs> so there's no further feature for the A button. Um, yeah, no, no other further feature as far as I understand. Okay, by pressing by pressing the B button once. It'll prompt you to two different battle, cross battle or X battle if you see here, and C battle meaning connectivity battle. Now, if you go for the cross battle, you'll be okay. This is the good part, cause like okay, if you grew up in the nineties ha having these like uh, Digimon V pets, you are forced to find a friend to play to play against with, or you buy two to play with yourself. Provided if your Digimon is capable of battle, and it's not too sick to battle. Now, if let, let's, let's just say I go to cross battle. You'll be pair up. You'll be pair, You'll be pairing up with a random Digimon, and you get to fight. Now, in terms of fighting, since we are already fighting right now, and let's just cancel this one first. I'll show you guys how the fighting system works. Next would be the connect uh, connectivity battle. Now, uh, when I yesterday when I opened this, I tested it with a friend. Okay, it actually can connect it with other three prong Digivice supposedly, but yesterday there seemed to be an error when my friend uses Digimon Axel. So, um, based on the instruction booklet that I read here, it only allows to be connected with other Digi Digimon Cross Form Mini. I'm not sure. I'm going. I, I'll I'll try to find some other friends who actually own a Digimon Mini and and give it a try to see if this so-called myth works. Otherwise, the myth will be busted. So, okay, that's what happens. You press B once. You get cross battle or you get connect uh, connect connectivity battle. Right, I repeat again. Cross battle where you'll be pairing up with a random with a random wild Digimon. That is programmed into the device and connectivity battle is that you can connect with other devices now if you press b long enough it'll prompt you to a training section where you can actually train your digimon to be stronger now as far as i've been playing this game since last night the training option in my my first in my first view that uh, served no purpose but after i played for quite some time it actually strengthened up your digimon even though it doesn't show how strong your digimon gets but the results ha has been shown in battle so uh, let's start with training first Okay, press B for press B a bit a bit longer and it'll pro okay now if you realize this device does not have a does not have a pendulum pendulum feature where you have to shake to, to give it to give your Digimon power. However, to give your Digimon power when it reaches the count section here, you have to you have to but you have to B mash. Basically you have to button mash the, the B button as much as you can until it prompts out how many how much power it has. So mine just now I think it wrote 22. So um for those who see this gen in a casual way it may seem like this game focuses on b mashing a lot but it, it doesn't it actually helps your digimon to grow to be stronger you can uh the maximum the maximum power that you can press here is 31 the, meaning that that's already its max power and it will give out a terra heat a terra hit ah <sighs> seriously being an asian you will and speaking english you will have the tendency to mispronounce certain words Ignoring that fact, okay. Let's try the cross battle. Now, um, some of you might be questioning, how does your Digimon digivolve in this version of the toy? Okay, uh, you don't digivolve. You actually cross. You actually digi cross or digi fusion in this version. Now, how you did you digi fusion? Okay, if you actually check out the 
uh, the instruction booklets here will show you you have a Digivolution guide unlike other uh, ele Digimon electronic toys you don't get uh, you don't get a Digivolution guide you have to find it out by yourself or get the instruction book but for this one let's just say you let's say you fought against a wild Digimon like okay like as you see here I'm battling against Koromon and I'm winning yay okay once you win the once you win the cross battle you'll be prompted with two options either to cross or not cross if you cross basically they, they, uh, these two Digimon will fuse together to form into one new Digimon so uh, right now I got Monokoromon okay um, you uh, basically you you be how say prematurely digivolve into a stronger form however please take note um, as far as I've been playing this since last night your your cross your cross form or your fusion form or your digivolve form is not I would say it's not permanent it's temporary it will actually revert back to its original state like this one would be the original state would be Greymon it will revert back I think about give it about eight to nine hours then it will revert back to its original form. So yeah, I won't be getting Triceramon for, for uh, I mean Monochromon for quite for quite a long time. However, you can actually change your form uh, depending on what kind of opponents you battle. This is where I cut things out because the battle was like being too long and obnoxious. So yeah, next clip. Same thing. Same thing will occur. You will have the you have, you'll be prompted to Digicross or not Digicross. So I will Digicross again. Monochromon will be crossing over with Dondokumon to cross into Triceramon but uh, for the Digivolution guide I'll just put a link down below on how to Digivolve into certain, certain Digimon in your certain device and <coughs> um, what else um, I don't know I think, I think that should be all for in terms of bat battle aspects I will show you guys the, C, the connected battle later so by pressing C once you'll be hold on let me just adjust the camera here by pressing C once you'll, you'll, be, you'll be prompt to a uh, a stat screen, uh, not 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 in term, not stat screen in terms of your Digimon health, but how many you win, how much battle you actually got yourself into. Uh, okay, so so far I managed to get two wins. If you press C long enough, it'll bring you. Wait, did it? No, no. If you press C long enough, it'll, it'll prompt you to a clock feature. So it's I don't know. It is an is a neat feature for for general use for general usage. If you if you're not the kind of guy who who wears watches, then this will do. This will actually do. So I guess that covers up uh, the blue flare version. Now let's go with the twilight version of the game, of the toy, or the cyber pet. Okay, now, your starting Digimon is supposed to be Skull Nightmon. But for me, since I played it last night, uh, I actually raised it, raised it up to its ultimate form, which is Dark Nightmon. So gameplay feature, it still, it still, uh, it still uh, works the same way. Uh, same thing, you get your food, you get your battle option, you get your stat option. But the difference is that um, the back, the background of this LCD screen here actually shows you the Twilight Team emblem. So that's really neat for, for those who, who follow the anime. Assuming you guys did. Now, for the fun part. Uh, let's, let's battle together tra tra the, my, just e my just evolved Triceramon to my fully evolved um, Dark Knightmon. Also, another thing. What was the thing I was gonna share to you guys about? Um, Digivolution is is re oh yeah. I think I told you guys Digivolution is actually uh, not is actually not permanent. It will revert back to its original form. And also for you casual VPAT VPAT players that want to try to try this device out. Um, okay, if if you guys played those pen uh, pendulum device like the the D the the D the D one D the D three the D the D power D art detector data link. You get to digivolve in battle for for this one, and it's not permanent. You get to digivolve that quick, but for this one, you get to digivolve after bat after battle, and you get to raise up your digivolve from Digimon. So it's really really good. It's really easy to digivolve, like you saw just now. Uh, after battle, you just digicross. Okay, now let's just let's just go to connect connected battle, battle between uh, Dark Knightmon and Triceramon. I won't power up both of them because it it's gonna consume a lot of my finger energy. But I'm just I'm just gonna show you how the battle works. So you connect, you connect it as so. The prompt out the words okay, and these two will fight. Okay, in terms of fighting, uh, like the like classic V pads, they don't show you life bars. But for for these new ones, they actually show you life bars. The 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 higher the higher the life bar goes up, meaning that the lower health you have. 
So if you actually power up your Digimon properly, the battle would actually end up very very quick. But for this one, I didn't power up either of them, for, so it, it will take some time for the battle to finish. And I think Triceramon is about to lose. Yep, Triceramon lost. I mean, I can't blame him because Dark Knightmon is already fully grown and Triceramon is like... I just, I just got I just got him, so... And, oh yeah, another, another thing I have to inform to you guys about. Okay, your Digimon will get sick or will get injured. So how... or even, or even lay poop. So how to clean up those things? By by just pressing the button A. If you say your Digimon is sick or injured, by pressing the button A, they will prompt you with two options: either to ban to bandage your Digimon or to cure your Digimon. If your Digimon ever lays poop, same thing. Press A, and it will flush away the feces. Now, if let's say your Digimon is is asleep, what you have to do? The same thing. Press A. It'll trigger the light light option. It'll, it'll light off. Um, another thing I have to inform to you guys. This version of the of the V Pack or Digimon Mini, like other raising Digimon games or Cyber Packs, these ones does not die. Your Digimon will not die. Uh, kind of works like a like an adventuring Digibus, but without the adventuring uh, feature. So these ones will will not die, and you you can still play it for a really really long time. So uh, my uh the my how to say my own personal opinion on this, I would give it. 4 out of 5 stars uh, because okay the only con that I can see is that few cons it's too small I mean it's really cute and, and, and really convenient to bring it on everywhere but it's too small for people with big hands like myself see how big they are really big <laughs> and also I don't know I mean in Bandai if you're, if you're actually watching this video if you can at least make a two uh, make make a two prong version of the Digimon Mini, maybe for us long time players, we can actually connect it to our two two prong devices. I mean, just 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 a, just a how say, suggestion, of course. If you guys are planning to make any any new V pads in the future or any Digi, Digi, Digimon electronic toys in the future, so yeah, I think that wraps up the review of this the device if i missed out any other details please do tell me in the comment section below also now for the fun part like i said at the end of the video at the end of the video i'm gonna do a giveaway as a form of thank you so what what uh what kind of items i'm gonna give you a giveaway this thing i hope you guys remember this thing this thing is the bootleg uh digimon uh digimon pendulum progress that i bought the other day around and, and i did review so I'm gonna do a giveaway for this thing. How to get it, you ask? Very simple. All I need, all I need you to do is that number one, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe button right there. Number two, open the description box below. Follow me on my Facebook, www.facebook.com slash cardgamingforall. Number three, after you do it, okay, few things I, I want you to do. Either do a video response of this review, either anything like a AMV, FMV, or, or your own product review any, or, or either way if, if you guys can do it if you guys are creative enough to do it or number two you can actually send me fan arts of I don't know of, my, of me or your or fan of your Digimon <laughs> uh, as long as you if, if, as you kept me entertained or I don't know take, take, take a picture in, uh, and share it with me on Facebook a picture of, of you having a good time with your Digimon or you and your friends having a good time with your Digimon because hey I love Digimon and I want to share it with you guys and I want you guys to share your love of Digimon with me so yeah those are the those are the few things I actually want you to do uh, to win this knockoff Digimon pendulum progress here so what are you waiting for times that they can start doing the things and more things so as always guys thank you for watching uh, wait till the month of July I think end of July or early August where I'll get um, two Digimon data links uh, it's the American version of Digimon IC so I'm really looking forward to get to get those things in my hands so as always like this video comment in the comment section below what you guys think about this video if it's too long I'm sorry I'll try to decrease the length of my videos a bit and um, for and share it with your friends, share it to any Digimon lovers, suggest to me what other things I should do in the future. So yeah guys, thanks again for watching, I'll see you guys soon, take care, goodbye guys. And say goodbye to Triceramon and Dark Knightmon. Yay!